Yeah, we haven't played. I mean, what are those lags? Come on. We haven't done today those strength mission teams. I kind of stopped caring about this. I even don't know if I want to continue that thing. <laughs> See, that's why, because. Stupid machine! Stupid machine! That's just silly. Yeah. My mouse stopped working. Awesome. Awesome. But look at those guys. 36% when level 2 and is almost 60%. They they are like they They're not good. Yeah, and let's restart the game because because game game is buggy. Anyway, yeah, I, I started to trim a little here here. There is still something. Here. There is something. I started to stream like half an hour earlier because actually I'm hurry. Um Because I want to play Demon Souls before Cyberpunk. And I kinda don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish my Effect Andromeda and Demon Souls. And I know that one half of half of them won't help me probably. <laughs> but yeah, that's the reason. That's not the reason because maybe tomorrow we'll be starting streaming as well. One uh, half an hour earlier, uh, we'll see. Maybe some, some longer stream during the weekend. Where is this? Where is it? Mm. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign because there will be cupboard and I won't be able to easily mounted and grid in that's why why I was trying to imagine there is camper unfortunately it was not enough so we'll have to figure out something maybe we'll bring up camera more like a little more yeah, we'll see we'll see we'll figure out something when there's cupboard that's not cupboard there won't be cups I think that's the name of it. Yeah. More like a shelf. No, no shelf. Yeah, kind of shelf. Like with the back and wall, uh, walls. Like standing shelf. Is it the thing? Because there's shelves you can mount on the wall also. Ending shelf. Yeah, no, that's not the thing. Okay, that's the load loading. How many shaders does it have to build and why it's so slow? There is something wrong. Okay, we'll wait. It's weak. There is nothing we can do right now. I will boost it up. We don't have this computer that they... I don't know if you remember, there was a computer with a tar turbo button. Like you had power, restart, and... Or reset. And turbo. To be honest, I've never figure out if it works if it was working 
maybe it was, maybe it was some kind of overclocking thing, I have no idea. But that button was actually funny, like when you think right now about the past. It's so right now when you actually want to overclock something. This is the more things to do, right? What is wrong with this loading? Okay, maybe I should restart the game. Something broke. Something broke. I have no idea what, but something broke. This always was almost immediately. Whenever there was a shadows done, that were done, then it was like, oh yeah. Yeah, okay, let's play. And let's try not to break the mouse. Okay, it works. It works. I have to remember because probably oh, there was like one theory. Whenever I click something and then I change to the mouse that might be the problem you have any points Yeah, as always, remembering where we wanted to go yesterday. Ah, yeah, yeah. There were still things to do. Ah, yeah. The vessel, or the vessel, Jal Amadava, friend of four, and the Nexus Exchange. Yeah, let's go. Three things, three things, three things. We're here, so let's yeah, let's start doing those those quests here. Like, speak to Sarah about moving to the Nexus. Yeah, yesterday someone asked me directly time to actually speak with the people who wanted to go to our Nexus. Live like there, not like being ambassador. But they only ag agreed if I'm gonna. Ambassador Riala said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. I find that. Wanted even to be considered for the transfer. I won't be happy as just an observer. I want me to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? Depending if you're good. That's the whole point of this exchange. The Nexus needs people like you. That's all I needed to hear. I'll have your ambassador start the transfer. Thank you. I don't see why not. See why not? Anyway, here, by Morpheus, if I speak to Moshi, uh, the Morpheus has arranged a secret meeting between you and Axel in her laboratory. Uh, yeah, that's something big. Here's like one more person to actually convince him. And there's like 
well like piano, repository creator, return the musical instrument to Avel. Aha, so okay, so she wanted us to go and find the artifact, yeah, and we found it. There was also Sur, Sur Service line, speak to service, ambassador. Yeah. Okay, so two more people. Yeah, let's go. Two more people to convince. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Ease off. I'm here to help. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault. His friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's a weird thing to say. How did he threaten you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the big gun he was carrying? He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. Sounds like there's more to this. Don't suppose you caught his name? Didn't ask, didn't want it, didn't need it. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests on Aya. Go, represent. I have work to do. He's smart. I think less expected from the Talarian. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating, and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? How can I guarantee her? They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. I really... What? That was... That was I thought that was the good answer. Damn. Pathfinder. Hello, Pathfinder. Hello, Pathfinder. Hello. Pavoa, I'm glad they finally let you into the city. You deserve it. This is Aya's cultural museum and history archive. It's small, but you've already made it brighter. You said the helmet was touched by the scourge. What does that mean? I forget your people weren't around for that. When the Scourge appeared, it targeted remnant ships, broke down their technology. With the drive cores disabled... The ships crashed. But that may not be all. The Scourge leaves a mark on whatever it touches. If it touched this helmet, perhaps the pilot was the target. There may be remnant tech inside the helmet. Or in the pilot. Storms. I hadn't even thought of that. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Okay, Bob Larson. Person I'm supposed to talk at Polly. This is weird. Return to the, mu in the music instrument of a. Uh, 
from your villa? Yeah, you're a villa. Hello, Pathfinder. Is this? Sun above. It's an ancient Ravan, a musical instrument. It uses Angara's body energy to produce music. We have them now, but nothing is beautiful. The songs it played were probably lost long ago. How much culture have we forgotten? Art, music, stories, it's all gone. Because of you, it won't disappear completely. Yes, I can be determined. I admire it. You say that now. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Okay, so we need to find something else also. Yeah. There is a way to get there. This place, yeah. This way. If that should have come to me. Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. What's he doing here? I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. He risked his life to... Sloan Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I want to be allies. Equal allies. <laughs> you don't even treat your own equally. Isn't that why the Krogan left? How did you... I've been watching you. Your invaders, just like the Ket. Except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel. He didn't used to be like this. He was curious. Brilliant. But the cat. Even without exaltation, they change us. Whoever Axel was, he's dangerous now. Pathfinder, please help him. I don't think he'll let me. I can't let him go. Not yet. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from EOS. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. Have we been here? Isn't so. I have old ones. Notes regarding exaltation. The question isn't how the cat genetically modifies, but why? If exaltation is the reproduce, uh, reproductive process or a model of inefficiency, if they can transform one life form into something so radically different, they should, surely the cat must also be capable of creating clones. Wouldn't that prove uh, provide more satisfaction in your results, especially for such a xenophobic culture? The goal of incorporating useful genetic materials from other species into baseline can genetics uh, material doesn't fully explain the level of effort they expend. Explanation is a lengthy and labor-intensive activity. What I witnessed at the facility didn't feel like mass production, it was almost religious. There's so much about our uh, me I need to understand. Translated, I'm okay, Begin dictation. After years of staring at this vault plan, so much of it still remains a mystery. Not that we haven't tried, still after what happened, maybe it's best to leave the vault alone now. We spent so long on Aya, striving to learn whatever we can about the remnant and the remaining constructs. I see our future in this remnant plans. Call it intuitions, scientific intuition if you will, but I've marked it down here for posterity. We will see what unfolds. I guess we can. Yeah, no, there's still something here. It's kind of resistant. Remember, so we can describe. Yeah, 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 that guy. We can travel there a little faster. I detect the infrared dye Sorvis Len used to mock the person who threatened him. 
That's our man. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me. Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well until now. The Vassal never accounted for outsiders living on Aya. There's only so much room. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out, I was angry. Said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. He thinks you want him dead. Tell him what you just told me, and let's move on. Thought I was clear the first time. Maybe his translator malfunctioned. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your Vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand, nothing is free for us. I don't think there was like anything wrong with that person said, but yeah, let's go to ambassador. Saren is just touchy. They are kind of touchy. All of them, like. Look at the armor pile as well. Perfect example. I read through your reports. How long till the Angara allows civilian visitors? I'm working on it. For now, all visits to Aya must have an official purpose. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal? The Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angar are selling their slots to come here, so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. We could let Angara who give up their slots live on the Nexus. It's safer than Vold. Exactly what I was thinking. No one should suffer on our behalf. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Ten immediately. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. We can't think I'm already getting them. And that's okay. Okay, let's go back to Tempest and then we're going to Nexus. Then we'll see. Liam's looking for you. We went, uh, Liam. Yeah, yeah, I remember. He wanted to speak with us yesterday. So let's go and find him. I was just... How you doing? I'm... 
great. Just, uh, yeah, I told you I screwed up, and I have. Remember Verand? I contacted Yangara. She's gone. The whole group is gone. Sudden. So, yeah, up for a rescue? Because if we don't, we could be next. You seem pretty sure this is your fault, but I'm not hearing why. Yeah, um, because I gave Varand Nexus data and nerve points. Why would you do that? We need to know how to live here. I tried asking. I tried taking. No one would help outsiders. So I took initiative. Gave her data and text so she could mod it. Varand was... She is a good risk. But if pirates interrogate her or barter her to the Ket, it's our heads. We'll take care of it before it's a problem. It's already a problem. We've got a lead from a trader, a grainy visual. We find that system, we find our bad guys. I also asked Bradley for people to help intercept. I thought they might want to pitch in. How are a bunch of settlers supposed to help? That's what he said. We're on our own. I'll forward the visual to the bridge for when you want to start hunting. And... Sorry. We have a lot of uh, systems to visit. I can't do as busy, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm here. Actually, change color here. I mean, not. It's nice. Could not. It could not be changed. So if it, if it is, that's okay. Okay, let's see our main mission because actually there are three of them here. Yeah. Travel to age of four seven. We don't go there. Travel to Eladan. We don't go there. Pentefano. So three systems. Actually, this one is. This is from Drac. And this one. Okay, so we're not going to Tefano. Everywhere else we can go. Because I actually want to lead the mission at the end. At the planet, yeah. To do as much as we can in other places. Okay, so I was talking here. We're not going here. We can go, for example, here. There is a Cora Harper. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. That's not some change. Actually, I kind of wonder if there's like gonna be. We click on this, or there will be some kind of landing like coming up on a blue giant. From Aya, it's often the brightest star, the first to rise. Really? Ramborodini? Something like that. Nice. Really also. I'm picking up something. Ramorondi, like Ramadeya. Those names was thrown out of orbit by the scourge. Its enormous mass might have dust debris that form rings only recently. Probes launched. That's a miss. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Yeah. Load the fire. This scourge is actually a very weird thing. I wonder what's that? I think there's gonna be like the source of it will be explained. I hope so. I hope so it wasn't and I missed that. So I I just... Yeah, that would be... Embarrassing. Anyway. Past 70 appears to be... Oh, a Tonyan planet. 
Former goddess giant stripped of its atmosphere down to its metallic core. It's extremely likely this process was accelerated by the scourge. Okay. Another one. 78. As 78 is a large gas giant ideal for helium free mining. Only the dense courage activity in the system makes it a less than perfect refueling point. Yeah, in the Rad Madasaya. Rad Madasaya and its neighbor, Ramarundi, were both thrown out of their orbits by the Scourge even before this. However, Rad Madasaya was likely a molten sphere of iron and copper. Hey, Oda. Oh, Jonda. Okay, many craters. Uh, Jonda is a world of rock and metal surrounded by crushing atmosphere. By all logic, it should be molten, but the scourge has somehow kept it cool despite its proximity to Valon's blue giant sun. Okay. This system is check. Voila, let's go get out. There is a mission for Korra, so... Not many signals out here. Even that random radio noise we get from the Scourge is quieter. Eerie. Eerie. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. This is Cora's nav point. We're gonna visit all planets before that nav point. Anomaly on sensors. Platinum and cobalt form the outer layer of massive surface, pitted and cracked by innumerable meteor strikes. Launched. Once there. Huge mineral deposit. Yeah, deposit. Top aluminium, nice. Thank you. Plus uh, 16. A 16 travels in a synchronous orbit around its sun, leaving one side always lit and the other always dark. The reason for this is unclear, but a thread of scourge within its path is suspect. Wow, that's kind of cool. Is there any known planet in our Milky Way like doing that thing? Or maybe there like any planet that doesn't rotate? No idea if it's possible. I'm not physicist, sorry. Even if it's a common knowledge. Uh, 